in the words of Alanis Morissette, I recommend biting off more than you can chew to anyone. I certainly do. After defying gravity, they said he'd never sing again. Or hoped. Oh, well. Anyhow, so biting off more than you can chew, you know, and yet so many of us suffer from tiny mouth syndrome, you know, taking little tiny bites. And, uh, well, let's tap on that, shall we? Taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I sometimes have tiny mouth syndrome, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I sometimes suffer from tiny mouth syndrome, I choose to love and honor myself anyway. Even though I sometimes suffer from tiny mouth syndrome, and I look at life and I take itty bitty tiny bites. Little bites that I think I can handle. Safe bites that I think I can swallow. Because it feels safer. And even though I suffer from tiny mouth syndrome, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself and anyone else who taught me to take tiny bites. I've had tiny mouth syndrome. I've been playing it safe. I've been playing small. I've been taking tiny bites out of life. I've been afraid to take a bite, a bigger bite. I'm so afraid of biting off more than I can chew. So I take tiny bites. I have so little faith in myself. And I choose to change that. Clearing the fears that hold me back. And trusting that there's more in me than I knew. that I could handle more than I thought I could. Clearing the fears that make me play small. Clearing the fears that make me take tiny bites. Clearing these fears at a cellular level. Clearing them all the way back through my past. Back through all those times in my life. That I learned to take tiny bites. Don't ask for too much. Don't try to achieve too much. You're only going to hurt yourself. So I take smaller bites than I need to. Not because I'm stupid. I'm just trying to take care of myself. And maybe I'm missing out. Maybe I'm settling for less than I could have. 
and I choose to take bigger bites out of life. Clearing the fear that this would make me stupid. This fear that I'll take too big of a bite. And I'm going to end up with a stomach ache. Or worse. All this fear of the consequences. All this fear that I'll be stupid. I choose to let that go. Because I'm not stupid. I'm not going to do something stupid. And if I do bite off a little more than I can chew, I will learn and grow from that. It's a win-win situation. And I'm getting better and better. And as Peter Gabriel said, I've been stretching my mouth so I can handle more and more. So I can take bigger bites. Because there's so much out there for me. And I choose to enjoy more. I choose to be more. And I choose to share more. The more good that I allow myself, the more good I have to share. So I'm allowing more and more. I'm finding out what I'm really capable of. And I'm taking much bigger bites. In body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. 